Hello everyone! Welcome back to the NGM Modeling YouTube channel. My name is Alexa and today we're going to be talking about how to get signed to a modeling agency. So a lot of the time modeling can start out as an interest or a hobby, but there often comes a time when people want to take modeling to the next level and that's where an agency comes in. A really important thing to start out with is confidence. The way that you portray yourself is the way that people are going to see you. So if you want people to see you as a strong, independent, and powerful model, you're going to need to put that vibe out there so that people can understand the type of model that you are and the type of model that you want to be perceived as as well as the type of castings and jobs that you want to be a part of. Another important thing is making sure that you understand what your brand is as a model, what type of modeling you want to get into, and additionally, what sets you apart from other models who may be similar to you. You might want to start out by asking yourself, why would a modeling agency choose me over a different candidate? So if you don't know what an agency or an agent does, essentially an agency or an agent is a business partner that works alongside you within your modeling career. They basically help serve as a resource for you. They can share different tips, tricks, and techniques to help elevate your craft, as well as provide you with classes and advice and also help you gain access to jobs that the general public may not have access to. There are many different types of modeling, and like I said before, it is super important to know about the various types of modeling and what type you are interested in getting into. You could be into fashion runway, editorial, swimsuit modeling, print modeling, fitness modeling, parts modeling, promotional modeling, mature modeling, child modeling, petite modeling, and plus size modeling, just to name a couple. Also, if you guys want a video going more in depth about each type of modeling and the requirements to be a part of those, let me know. I would be happy to do a video about that. Once you have your confidence down, once you understand what an agency slash agent does, and once you decide what type of modeling you want to get into, you can then start to look at agencies in your area, or if you're willing to relocate, you can also look at agencies in the area you're interested in relocating to. You can make a list of your top 10 agencies that you would like to be a part of and start looking at the requirements to be a part of those agencies. So the requirements for each agency is definitely going to vary. It is kind of a case by case scenario. So make sure to just do your research and read the requirements closely. Make sure that you can meet those or that you will be able to meet those because that is a huge part of getting signed to an agency. So once you have a list of your top agencies, it is time to start looking at the application and the application process. This process is incredibly important because the application you submit to the agency is the first impression that they are going to get of you and obviously you want to make a great first impression. So number one, you are going to want to put your best foot forward, meaning if they are asking you to submit headshots, make sure that they are your most high quality headshots. Um, if they're asking you to do any sort of interview, make sure that it's very polished, very rehearsed, and that you've practiced it multiple times. Anything else that they ask you to do, just make sure that it is polished and that you are following the requirements very closely. Oftentimes, when models submit applications to agencies, they may not follow the requirements exactly. And when you do not follow the requirements for the application, your application often gets discarded or overlooked due to those mistakes. So make sure that you double check your applications because you don't want to count yourself out just because you miss a step on the application or you filled something out improperly. I would definitely recommend having one or two people, whether that be friends or family, 
look over your application, make sure that there's no typos, and make sure that everything looks polished and professional. So after you have submitted your applications to any of the modeling agencies that you are interested in, I would also make sure that your social media is up to date. You should probably have an Instagram or a TikTok or whatever social media that you use specifically dedicated to modeling and your modeling career, meaning maybe don't have any family vacation photos or anything like that on the Instagram. Just keep it strictly model and career related photos. This is because your modeling social media will basically serve as an online portfolio for agencies to get a good impression of you and how you interact with any fans or brands online and things like that. So yes, I would say it is important to make sure that your modeling social media is up to date, high quality, and professional. In the meantime, while you're waiting for responses to your agency applications, if you're interested, I would start to look into different modeling apps and websites. What I mean by this is that there are many different websites and apps that are for modeling agencies to go on to. You essentially make a profile and the agencies can see your profile and hire you for a job or invite you to a casting, things like that. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, I would definitely look into starting that. Your chances of getting selected on there would be zero if you don't have a profile. So even if you feel like you may not have a good chance of getting selected, I would still make one just because you never know and you don't want to count yourself out just by not making a profile. Some popular ones that I would look into would be New Look, Models.com, and Swipecast. Additionally, I would be on the lookout for any open calls that the agencies that you're interested in might be holding. If you don't know what an open call is, it is basically just an event where anybody who is interested in being a part of that agency can come in and be a part of the audition and casting process. Oftentimes it can be very busy and long days, but despite that, it's still an opportunity to be a part of that agency and even if you don't get cast or selected, you can still get good practice by going to the open calls, especially if you have any coming up, it's good practice. The last piece of advice that I'm going to give on how to get signed to a modeling agency is to always be kind and always be looking to make connections with people. Networking is a huge part of modeling and you never know where your next connection might come from you never want to blow your chance at making a connection just because you were rude to somebody or you didn't feel like talking to somebody that day. Um, you never know who has a connection in the modeling industry and you never know where your next opportunity might come from. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that video and I hope that you got some valuable information on how to get signed to a modeling agency. Please make sure that you are subscribed so that you can get more information about modeling and we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye.